What's up everybody? Justin and John here with Hyperreal here at Austin Film Fest. We're catching writer, director, and actor Jack Houston's directorial debut, Day of the Fight. And we're going to be getting Hyperreal with him, asking all kinds of questions. And we're going to be asking the hard hitting ones. Let's go. Let's go. How's it going, hey, y'all? Good, how are you? Jack, nice to meet you. And, nice and what was your name too. again? Uh, Jay. Stuff Jay? Like Jay and Jack. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, Thanks. Nice for being here. Jay's. Jay's. Uh, the Jay's are in. Big congrats as always getting a feature film made. That's that's a hard, you right. know, no matter what level you're at. But uh, congrats on that. Um, Jack, I had a question for you. As, you know, I've seen you act on a lot of stuff, and this is your directorial writing debut, it seemed like, from what I could tell. How does being an actor does that bleed at all into into how you directed? Did that inspire your approach in any way, or did you try to keep those separate? Well, I, it definitely informs how you sort of approach a set and how you speak to actors and how you look at a crew. Because I've been lucky enough to be on sets for a very long time, so I've been able to see it both ways, like the good, the bad, and the ugly. And uh, I, I, I think. Um, there's a lot of gratitude involved in making film, which is like, I'm, I was just incredibly grateful that I was able to make the movie. So everything else is just icing. It's, um, it was just being able to approach everybody. Every actor has a different method, a different sort of approach to the way they act. And it's being sensitive to that fact and being, you know, being able to talk to them, understanding also that 90% of making a movie is casting. Um, you know, you've got to come in there, you have to understand that once you've given someone that part, I want them to own that part and it to become them and them to sort of feel completely artistically free to explore that character, come with ideas. Like I always said, the best advice I ever got when I was on stage was try it. Because we often try to convince ourselves not to do things. But there's never any harm in trying something because if it doesn't work, we'll all know it doesn't work. But at least you got the shot, like at least you tried it. So it was always being incredibly open, being very fluid, speaking, you know, with grace and always understanding that every single person is as important as the next person standing next to them. You know, it's like that entire cast and crew all stood and held each other up because it was tough. 20 days we shot that movie and, you know, it's like everybody has to come together and really make something work. And that. Awesome, thank you. Um, as, as this was your first time, and for you, Jay, this is a question for, for the two of y'all, potentially. Uh, what was the big lesson that arrived to y'all as y'all made this movie, whether at the beginning, throughout, or at the end, even? I mean, the, the lesson for us was consistent, and it's similar to what we said to her, is you can do it. Like, you know, yeah. it, we got to a lot of places where there were some serious obstacles in front of us, and, um, you know, Jack was the quarterback of that production and he no matter what was thrown at him by finance or by production or by locations or by talent or whatever it was always we can get around it we can go over the obstacle we can go through the obstacle whatever it was whether it was cutting a day whether it was changing a location whether it was um, casting a piece of talent whatever it was um, you know, Jack was adaptable to all of it, and it's it's a huge credit to any filmmaker. I don't care how many movies you've made. If you can't adapt and overcome challenges um, during pre-production, production, and post-production, you better look for something else to do. And I've never seen anyone do it as well as Jack, and I've seen a lot of people do it. Um, so that was really impressive, because it was a very tight schedule. It was a tight budget. It was a lot of locations. It was a lot of company moves, and um, it sometimes it seemed like an impossibility. But it really, you know, he pushed us all through, and, and we got it done. And I'm I'm proud about that for sure. Nice. Oh, was that it? And that was the interview, folks. Shout out to Jack Houston for taking the time to talk with us. Hope you enjoyed the questions. Hope you enjoyed the answers. This is Justin and John once again for Hyper Real Film Club, bringing cinema to the people here at Austin Film Fest. Shout out, see you later. Bye bye, bye bye, good night.